Hello everyone! In our last video we learned how to set up the activity timeline instance in just under 10 minutes, so now we can actually start working using the main features. If you haven't seen our last video we strongly recommend watching it so you know how to configure your timeline. As we've seen in our last videos, Activity Timeline is a pretty comprehensive tool. It has four different views – Plan, Work, Track and Report. In this video we will focus on Plan – Resource Planning to see the most common use cases for the tool. There are different ways how good tasks appear in the calendar, but the most obvious way is to simply grab the task from the left panel and drop it to the timeline. In this way the task will be scheduled both here and in Jira. Also, you may schedule tickets directly from Jira screen, and they will automatically appear on the calendar. Open any Jira ticket, fill in the start and end dates. After that, you can return to Activity Timeline and click at the Refresh button to load all the changes. As you can see, the task appears scheduled for the dates we've selected in Jira. If you don't plan to use start and end dates for individual tickets, but instead you work in sprints, we have a configuration that will allow you to use dates of the sprint for all tasks there. If you have your sprint ready with tasks assigned and start and end dates of the sprint configured, you can simply enable the configuration to reuse these dates in Activity Timeline configuration in Jira integration page. Once you do this, you will be able to see tasks scheduled for a whole duration of the sprint. Now, when we have everything in our calendar, we can talk about estimation and workload. You can change the estimate right in Activity Timeline by simply clicking on the issue and choosing to estimate. Or you can do the same in Jira using its standard time tracking. It all will be synchronized between these two systems. As you can see under each of the user there are numbers that show how much work each user has and the color means if she or he is over or under allocated. Yellow color means less than 50% allocation. Light green means 50 to 90. Green is 90 to 100 and the red obviously means over allocation. As you can see by default activity timeline only works with hours and doesn't calculate the workflow for story points. But it can work with them. The only thing you need to do is configure a conversion factor between story points and hours. This is done because hours are considered a baseline for activity timeline. Go to configuration, to projects and then to manage a particular project and define this conversion. Let's for example put 8 hours per story point. Now we have opened the plan so we can see the proper workload now. For people who neither use time tracking in Jira nor story points but still would like to see the workload, we have one more option called daily estimate. This is internal estimate, it allows you to simply specify how many hours per day or percentage of the capacity someone should spend on the task. It's very easy to use, just remember that all of these numbers won't be synchronized into Jira and will only stay in activity timeline. Now, when we can see the schedule and workload of individuals, it would also be beneficial to understand how a team as a whole is doing. For this, you can use our team panel that aggregates data for all the users inside the team. You can also show an additional timeline by switching to team with users on the top of the screen. This panel allows you to see workload and availability in hours, days or percentages, so you could forecast if your team can do some new projects. You can assign all types of Jira tasks on the team panel in the same way you do it for users. This is especially useful for some high-level items like epics. This is also possible to assign tasks on the team level right in Jira. For this, a special team field has to be created. You can do that just in a few clicks inside the tool. Open Configuration, then Jira Integration tab, then go to Advanced Configuration and click to create a team field and choose an appropriate name for this field. Once you click Create, the system will create the field and assign it to the correct Jira screens. Now let's open any field in Jira and try to assign it to one of our teams. Notice a new field on your Jira issue screen. Simply select the team from the list, set dates and return back to Activity Timeline. 
and as you remember, click refresh to see the changes. This is it for today, we've covered the basics of our plan view, however, there are many more features which you can discover in our next videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at relax.com. See you in the next episodes.